there we are. There's the commitment we were looking for. It's pretty. And you can see the little creatures who live in our yard because we are basically a nature preserve. We joke that we are the nature preserve, actually. And look at that sky. So pretty. Now I'm going to go back inside because I am flipping cold. So we're having a bit of a late start today. But that's the thing that happens. Morph decided to sleep upon me and 18 pounds of cat is hard to move. Especially when it does not want to be moved. And it snowed last night so he was even less likely to move. He, he does not like snow. He doesn't mind cold weather but he does not like snow. I should have something interesting to say. I just woke up. I've been awake for like five minutes, so so expecting something, you know, I wouldn't say coherent to come out of me is expecting too much because I can, you know, just wake up and like pontificate on like aesthetic theory and stuff. You know, talking to people who are not into things like aesthetic theory and stuff yeah, that, that I can't do, so gotta give me a little time to wake up. Yeah. So I'm off today watching the celebrity, celebrity, celebrity D20, celebrity D20, there we go, I can say it, a charity live stream because, you know, live stream RPGing, it's on brand. Which is what you're listening to in the background. They're currently playing a game of Vampire. Which is... Vampire is always entertaining. I, somebody in the stream commented that all of us played it in the 90s and that's not inaccurate. I played it a little... I, I, I low-key LARPed Vampire in... When I was a freshman in college, freshman and sophomore in college, so. And that was the late 90s, so there you go. Because I'm old. So, this is entertaining. And I'm going to go finish watching it, but I went to close out the, the vlog for the day. And to prove that I actually have done something today, though not a lot. <laughs> okay, that's not true. I finished a, a digital illustration of Abigail Persimmon from Sagas of Sundry Madness. So I did do that. It has quite a few likes on it actually and has been um, retweeted and things and Ivan and Xander uh, Xander or <laughs> Ivan and Xander from Madness liked it. So you know loser. But I also working on these, kind of low key. When I go to cons, I have a tower, a two tier tower that spins of buttons. And I decided, because I have the buttons mounted onto the grid rack, uh, just like. <sighs> they, 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 they got a Pomeranian from a little old man to use as, a, as eyes at a rave they're going to because. No matter how far out into the, the future we are in Vampire, it's still the freaking 90s. But I have a two-tier tower of, that spins with buttons that, that I have the buttons mounted on the grid rack. But I thought that if I used something like this, which is padded and I can hang from the grid, that it would give me greater versatility in putting the buttons on things because it'll warp them less and how many I can fit on there because then I'm not beholden to how many things are in the grid and yeah so theoretically it's smart whether or not it works that is another matter so yeah I've been working on that and we there has been photographic proof of the murder machine snuggling so we, we, we're very very close to the the, the fuzzy children actually being friends with each other. And now I'm going to go. And I will see you all tomorrow. And things. Yes. Courage.
point of information, when I look to my right, like I'm looking for consultation or reference, this is what I'm seeing. So I'm not seeing anything that's remotely going to help me. Just to let you know.